Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My book, Adhesion Science, Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Adhesion website. In this video, we look at an app that shows that time and temperature are equivalent, or in other words, that adhesion depends on how fast you test it. The mantra in this website and in the Adhesion Science book is that adhesion is a property of the system. And there's another aspect of the system which greatly affects the measured adhesive force, for example in peel. It depends very strongly on the speed at which you do the test, so time is important, and it depends very strongly on the temperature at which you do the test. And time and temperature are equivalent, TTE, or you can have time and temperature superposition, TTS, or you can say it's WLF, williams landel ferry theory. All these are trying to say that you can get data measured at a certain time and translate it into data as if it had been measured at a different temperature or vice versa. The WF formula for this is relatively simple but a bit obscure. It says that log AT is minus C1 times this lot divided by C2 plus this lot. We have two constants C1 and C2 and these are the WLF constants. We have the temperature of interest, T, and a reference temperature, TR, which is often the, the TG, the glass transition temperature. And from these we can calculate AT, which is the amount by which the time has to be shifted to get the same result at T as if you could get it at TR. This will start to make sense in a moment. Here's some famous experimental data. This is the peel of some rubbery material. This is the log of the work of adhesion. And this is the peel rate, or the log of the peel rate. So at low temperatures, minus 80 C, you have a large work of adhesion because it's very stiff material. And the work of adhesion depends very strongly on the peel rate. At high temperatures, at plus 80 degrees, you have a very low work of adhesion and it doesn't depend all that much on the peel rate because it's a big soft system. Having these multiple lines is a bit confusing to most of us and in most of the academic literature you see the data presented as a single graph. It's saying that this material has this log w dependence on peel rate. All the very good, nice graph, you see lots of these. How can you tell whether this has been done as a real graph or whether it's been done by WLF time shifting? Well, there's a clue. Look at this data point here. It was measured at a peel rate of 10 to the minus 22 meters per second. If you do the calculation, this data point would have taken longer than the age of the universe to gather. So clearly it's not a real experimental point, except it is a real experimental point. It's just been time shifted by the WF equation. Let's see this live with the app. Let me deliberately change things. So here are those data as before. And now I say, well, the TG is minus 70, let's say. And I want to find out what C1 and C2 have to be in order to get a more or less straight line. And uh, I'm not very good at this, but you can see we've now got that modest, more or less straight line. They often curve at, at the end. But that's showing you how these constants and the WF equation, let's go back up to see the equation. There's the equation. You're changing these constants and the TR, and you're changing the AT, which is the time. So it's changing the effective meters per second. So that's how temperature is the same as time, why adhesion is a property of the system. And although this sounds very academic, in fact this is hugely important. You really need to understand WLF to understand lots of aspects of real-world adhesion.